Okay, Urban Explorers, this will be my final video for this little series here, but I think if you watch these five or six videos that I've just shot, you really get an idea. If you just look around right now, I'm, I'm riding up toward the Federal Signal Station. Uh, there's the MARTA line, that's the blue line. I'm on DeKalb Avenue, corner of Harrelson. This is Acapella Books right here. This is the, the garage I was talking about, Jordan. Jordan's Garage, Roger Jordan, and I'm coming up on the corner of Moreland Avenue and DeKalb Avenue. So what you're looking at right there where that red car just turned in, that is the uh, exit and entrance ramp onto Moreland Avenue. So you see the barbed wire coming up right ahead here? This is the, f the Federal Signal Station marker. And I'll ride up to it and we'll talk a little bit about it here. But this really is sort of the epicenter of where the painting for the cyclorama was painted. I zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so here's the corner of DeKalb Avenue and Moreland Avenue right there. This lane right here is, is the southbound exit ramp off of Moreland onto DeKalb. So I'm just going to pan around here. That's Holsey Yard right there. So basically everything I'm panning around right now is in the cyclorama. This is the basically ground zero from when, from where they painted uh, or where they sketched out the painting. Okay, so right here behind this barbed wire is a fence. Uh, behind the fence is this marker, and it's called Federal Signal Station, as you can see, read along. July 22nd, 1864, it's the Battle of Atlanta when the 15th, Army Corps moved west from a line at Candler Street to the vacated Confederate line at the Troop Hurt House, that's where I just was a minute ago, on DeGress Avenue. A signal station was established by Lieutenant Samuel Edge in a tall pine tree near this site commanding a view of fortified Atlanta. And by fortified Atlanta, we're talking about the fortifications that wrapped around the city like the one at Fort Walker, which we've seen uh, over in Grant Park, in the southeast corner of Grant Park. Lieutenant Edge reported the advance of the Confederate forces astride the railroad when the 15th Army Corps line was broken. In other words, he's basically saying he alerted the Union Army over at the at DeGress Battery that Manigault and his men were coming up uh, down Edgewood Avenue from Springvale Park. He abandoned the station, returning to it after the line was restored, uh, which was shortly after they took it. Near this site in 1885, so that's 20, uh, what's that, 20, 20 years after the Civil War, 21 years after the Battle of Atlanta, the battlefield was studied from a tower that was erected by the artist who created the cyclorama. This established the viewing point of the big picture. Okay, so like I said, this is ground zero of the cyclorama painting. So this was the vantage point. That's why I say everything within a quarter mile radius of here, particularly south, east, and west. Okay, that south, I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. It really is in all directions, but that's south towards Holsey Yard. That's west down to Cab Avenue. North would be up toward the Carter Center. And if you know, if you look at the painting really closely, you will see the, um, you know, the, the Augustus Hurt House, which is where Sherman watched, uh, watched the battle. So there you go. That's my, uh, that's my series for today. Uh, if you get a chance to get on one of the behind the scenes tours at the cyclorama be sure to do that uh it's a fascinating tour you get to see the cyclorama painting up close uh you will not be able to get to see it that close up when it opens you'll be maybe 20 feet away from it so really worthwhile and uh hopefully all the videos that i've just shot will make more sense especially when you see the painting so again this is steve signs with urban explorers of atlanta hope to see you on some of our tours in the near future thank you